Hello and welcome to Griddle Cooking with Chef Sherry Ronning. This recipe that I'm doing next is a recipe that I've seen online a couple different spots and to me it looks really really good so I'm just I have to try it. I have to see if I can get it to work. I know some people were struggling trying to get this to work properly but I'm going to attempt to make scrambled pancakes for you guys. We're going to see how it turns out whether it turns out really good or really bad. So let's get started. We are going to be making some scrambled pancakes for you today on the Blackstone griddle. I have my griddle preheated to low. I have it all of these on low. I don't want to do too hot of temperature with this because I really don't want to burn it and it's going to cook quickly anyways. So I'm just going to use some vegetable oil on the griddle here like that use my spatula you could also use butter and it'll give it just maybe a little bit um different kind of a flavor you'll get that butter coming through in it and but i'm just going to do it with some uh oil for you some vegetable oil for you today and you could probably do this with cooking spray when i've done pancakes before on the griddle i will do the cooking spray i'll do butter i'll do the vegetable oil you know so it's kind of whatever you like to cook with just kind of go with that and as far as the pancake recipe that i'm using you can use any recipe that you normally like to cook with so i this is my favorite I'm going to be using this. It's the light and fluffy buttermilk pancake recipe. And I'm just doing the single serving or it's like a six to seven, one cup mix and water. So it has the water, two thirds cup water with it. And simple recipe. I have tried all different kind of mixes and different stuff. And, um, you know, it is kind of... Um, what, whatever whatever you like. It's just up to you what you like. This is what I like, so this is what I'm using. So with this recipe, use any pancake mix, homemade mix that you would like, and just roll with it like that. So I have my water here that I'm just gonna add to it. And the reason I like this is just simple. It's just the, the mix, the pancake mix, and water. Cold water, and you don't have to add any other things with it and in the pancakes turn out light and fluffy that's what i really like about this recipe is how they turn out so we'll see how our scrambled pancakes turn out because you just never know you never know what what's going to happen so here i'm just whipping this up to make sure that i get all the lumps out and I'm looking for consistency. So you don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. That is one thing when you're making pancakes is make sure you have it right. So if you um, added a little bit too much mix, then add just a little bit of water, just a little bit splash and just till it gets the right consistency that you need. So we're looking good. I don't have any lumps in there and my griddle is preheated we got it oiled so i'm gonna get get started with this we're gonna see we'll see how this works well i'm just gonna pour this i got my spatula here so i can get it all out of the bowl i'm just doing one big big blob there and so i am just going to let it cook for just a minute let it try to get a little bit of golden brown color in it. I'm not going to fuss with it like right at the beginning here because I want to get it cooking and um, get a little bit of that color in there. So I, when I make pancakes, I like chocolate chip pancakes. So I'm going to be doing the scrambled pancakes, but I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate chips in different parts of this to just see you know how i can how, how i can get it maybe it'll be all melted maybe it'll be all gooey um but we're gonna see how it how it how it works i am a huge chocolate chip lover and um i 
You know, you could add blueberries to this if you want blueberries. You could add strawberries. You could add different sauces. I'm going to be just using uh, just some syrup to go over top of it, maybe a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm going to garnish it with some more chocolate chips. And I've let it cook. The bubbles are just starting to come to the top. It's not because I do have it on low, so it's not like cooking super, super fast. If you have it at a higher temperature, this may cook faster for you. I wanted to keep it low and slow because I just didn't want to overcook this too quickly. I didn't want it the heat to get away from me and then like regret like, oh, I should have turned it down. So this is pancakes are a delicate cooking and... Um, Okay, we're getting some golden brown color on there. So we're just going to start scrambling. I'm going to just go like that with it. And I'm using this and I'm going to chop it up like that. And just start scrambling. So you can maybe, maybe do a little bit sooner. Um, but I wanted the color in there because I want colorless flavor. I don't want it burnt, but I just wanted to add a little bit of flavor to it. And I wanted my pancakes to be a little bit fluffy. I didn't want them to, you know, to like take all the fluff out of it by chopping them up. And so this, it's looking pretty good. It's cooking. You can tell that the doughy, it's not as doughy. It's not sticking too bad. It's got a little bit, but we do have the whole griddle to work with. So if you need to move it to a different, I know some people were struggling with it just stuck and they just couldn't get it to do anything. So I'm, I grease the whole griddle so I can move it to different sections and get it so it doesn't stick that way is what I'm thinking. So, which is working pretty good. I don't think it is do, not doing too bad. And... Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like scrambled eggs. Just like a scrambled egg would. Okay. Think you you want to make sure that it's not doughy, which I do have some bigger pieces here, so I am going to make sure to chop them up to get that doughiness out of them because they do look a little bit doughy. And that's one thing you don't want. You don't want doughy the pancake, the scrambled pancakes to be doughy. You want them cooked. We got the golden brown color there. I'm liking that. It looks, it looks good. We didn't get, it didn't stick to the griddle. So I'm just going to add some of my chocolate chips because I like chocolate chips where they were starting to melt a little bit from the heat, from the heat of the griddle, but that's okay. We'll get, we'll get it here. Just like that, because I like the I like the chocolate chips in there. Chocolate chips make it for me. So I do have my bucket of soapy water. I can stick my hand in it to clean my hands here. I always bring out a bucket of soapy water to the griddle when I'm cooking. So it just helps. It just helps to clean up any messes that you have. So this is something that I didn't really see other people doing, but I'm going to add the, I'm going to shut the griddle off because it's hot enough. It's, we're good. We're cooked. So I'm shutting the griddle off and it will still, the griddle is still hot, but I'm going to take and add my syrup over top of this to, um, get it, it, it's going to warm up the syrup. And I think it's just going to make it so much better. As you hear the griddle sizzling, ooh, just like that. Mm -mm. And then I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar here, like that. Ooh, I think that our scrambled pancakes turned out amazing. Let's, I want to give it a try. So I have my fork here. I've got, just make sure you don't burn yourself because this is really, really hot. So I have some chocolate chips there. 
I have some of the syrup in the pancake. Mm -mm. This, this looks like a winter recipe here. And this recipe would be a great recipe for your kids. If you have kids or grandkids and you kind of want to introduce them to the griddle. And I have great nephews that like to cook with me. They like to do different videos with me. And so this would be the perfect recipe to do that with them. And um, they are probably going to love this. So I'm going to make sure that it's not hot because I don't want to burn myself. Mm. Mm -mm. Scrambled pancakes. You really need to give this recipe a try. Super easy. You can add different stuff to it. I added the chocolate chips to my scrambled pancakes. You can add blueberries. You can add strawberries. You can add anything that you want. You can add toppings to this if you would like. And just give this recipe a try. Super easy. This is a great camping recipe that you could do with your family. And super easy. Everybody's going to love it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure to check out my cookbook, uh, Recipes for the Blackstone Griddle. I have all kinds of recipes in here. I do have a pancake recipe that is also a family favorite. The cinnamon roll pancakes that are in here. Every photo in here has a full color. Every recipe has a full color photo in here. And there's breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizers, and snacks. So make sure to give this a try. I want to show you a picture of my close-up of my scrambled pancakes. These are so delicious and super easy to make. I did add some, look at that. It's like the caramel, the syrup on there just turns caramelish. I have added some chocolate chips to mine because I love chocolate chips. I am a chocolate chip lover. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Mm -mm. Super delicious. We're going to have to give this scrambled pancake recipes a try. Happy griddling. Mm -mm. Super good. Super, super good. Mm-mm.